Uh, As you know, we've had, so, we're in our worst, uh, it is being called the worst drought in history in California. I don't know if you saw, if you saw the homepage at Rents or not, but I've got pictures up there from a yeah. year ago. Well, now. you've been tracking how there's been no storms, no, no. Storm, specific storms coming in. There's That's been this right. very strange, yeah. uh, perpendicular, uh, formations of, uh, weather high, fronts. High, which high are pressure. Curve. Very odd. Yeah, I, high pressure fronts. They're usually curved, uh, features, you know. They're round. They are they're funny. circles. Now you got squares. Yeah, they come down, they dip down with the jet stream and all that. So, you know, they're like sine waves. You know, they're, they're like waves in the ocean. They dip down. But now we see these perpendicular aerial formations of the atmosphere that look like science fiction. But we know it's not science fiction. We know that you know, water uh, in the sky, uh, especially if it's irradiated, can be e- is uh, is ionized. It can be easily manipulated by electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic radiation. In other words, radio pulses. And um, so things are happening out there. So the consequences of geoengineering trying to stop the um, we, we, say, that's, the that's, moisture, uh, yeah. The sea moisture, Look, the clouds coming in from Fukushima. Correct. Has this now counter effect that you get a drought. That, right. And California, well, as you know, that, and in fact, Washington, much of Washington state. They had to make Oregon, a trade. Our deserts, uh, our desert, yeah, our, I think they had to figure out, uh, what was the lesser of two evils? They had to figure out, do we want radioactivity being measured all up and down the West Coast by everybody with a mm-hmm. Geiger counter, or do we want a drought? And I really think there's a mm-hmm. strong likelihood that that's why there is no rain. They didn't want the radiation yeah. here. You've been predicting this for months now, as you spotted this formation over the Pacific. Yeah. Now there are consequences of that are happening, and you gotta you gotta understand when the Western states, when uh, when the uh, federal authorities, you know, the, the top uh, meteorologists in Washington and all that, do, uh, decide that it's better to desertify, to, to, you know, allow the desert to creep over the western states rather than allow radiation to come in means that the radiation levels are astoundingly high. I, I, uh, I mean, I, you know, you, you, would, you would not cut off the water to these major western states, you know, really Well, the breadbasket of, of America, of the economy, right? exactly, the yeah. farmland in the Central Valley, the San Joaquin Valley, the Sacramento Valley, yeah. come on, they, look, and this is... And you know, all of those states have great yeah. deserts in the interior, which will creep, you know, which will creep forward toward the coast, uh, if this continues, you know, you know how the winds blow, the Santa Ana winds, the... The uh, sand dunes, you know, when I was a kid down in Southern California, massive sand dunes would blow over and bury the highways and come across and threaten the towns. And uh, that's going to start again. But when you look at the larger picture, that's far preferable than the radiation from Fukushima, okay, that they are denying, that they did. You know, this stuff doesn't exist and all that. But rather they will push the button to turn you know, Los Angeles, Fresno, and all that into uh, into uh, vast sand dunes rather than confront the radiation they deny that exists. I think we can't, it is incredible. We cannot, neither Yochi nor I, prove what, uh, I, I and, and we have been postulating for many months now that the weather has been artificially controlled and the rain systems have been shut off, denied access to the western U.S., forced up in over British Columbia, down and in through the middle of Canada, and then ultimately down into the Midwest after they've rained out a lot of their radioactivity. We know that the government, this government, the American government, is testing the Pacific Ocean, the air, the jet stream, the land. We're not being told what the results are. But interestingly enough, Yochi, in Alaska, some of the salmon fishermen who lost 80% of their salmon return this year, 8 mm-hmm. decided to pay for their own tests. And they found cesium in the salmon. So not a big surprise. There no, you go. No, no surprises from our side. That's you know, right. We've been saying this all along. We've seen it in the lower end of the, uh, of the, uh, of the food chain, you know, in smaller fishes and uh, certainly along the seashore. It's, it's spotable, you know, it's spotable. And what's alarming is that while the government is allowing the deserts to take over the western cities and towns and farmlands, uh, they're putting on this huge charade, this whole denial exercise of, uh, pseudoscience, false science. It's worse than pseudoscience, false science scientific falsification in measuring the kelp along the west coast of the United States. 
and they're going to send all the results, all the results of these kelp uh, kelp measurements, as you pointed out in articles at your site, are going to be centralized at UC Berkeley at a very questionable lab. Okay, a questionable <laughs> lab, which may well, you know, let's say fix the data. Okay, fix the data, and and for my own measurements, you know, I've been down along the coast there. Yep. Yep. Uh, radiation is much higher than uh, we should, uh, than, nat- than anything natural, and, and certainly it's the cause of alarm. When you know uh, this early after Fukushima, there's that much radiation all along the coast. In uh, adding to the radiation already being emitted from the California coast, this is and and as we see hot massive radiation uh, radiation overhead through streaming in the atmosphere, this is major cause of concern. And people are saying, I think the report that I got from people poo pooing the, uh, you know, Surfer Bob, was it Bob was it? Surfer Dave, Surfer Dave's Dave. report is going to be, yeah. oh, that's just natural sand. Well, I'm sorry. You know, if serpentine levels, which is one of the most radioactive natural occurring stones in California, is a fifth that level. You know, you know, either there's a nuclear submarine washed ashore there, a sunken nuclear submarine washed ashore, <laughs> or it's Fukushima. <laughs> Now, yeah, if you, I mean, if, come on, what, yeah, yeah, how, well, how how far can they deny? How long do, do you think this is going to last? Yeah? It can't last much longer. There are too many people with, with Geiger counters. Uh, what, you're right yeah. about the desertification of the land. A couple of years with no water, and the Central Valley will, by and large, start to dry up and turn into vast, uh, arid-looking ground. Now, the other yeah. thing that's it's very called, important... It's called salination. It's called salination. There's a high salt yeah. content, yeah. Yeah. mineral stuff from the mountains, yeah. and that when that starts to reach a certain concentration, it kills everything, and it becomes something like the Aral Sea in the former Soviet Union yeah. in Russia, Kazakhstan. A-R-A-L, the Aral Sea. Yeah. yeah. It's salinated, and uh, it's very hard to reverse, no matter please, what you do. Once uh, that concentration builds up. Folks, I would like you to please go make sure you see this story at the top of headlines and in the Japan box. Look for the green N-E-W, new, Northern Cal, NorCal, beach readings still sky high, 380 counts per minute. There are two videos there from Dave, uh, Surfer Dave, we can call him. He sent them to me exclusively here, and we're very uh, grateful for that. And what they point out is very clear. There is black sand along the beach, near where the high tide rushes in and, and rolls back out again. Uh, he checked that and got readings of up to 380 counts per minute. There is also a layer of black sand in the low bluff. It's part of the strata there. Looks like the same stuff. He went over and measured that. It was only 50 counts per minute, not 380. So it's not naturally occurring. It's not from the bluff. It came from somewhere else. Where did it come from? And as Yochi said, did a nuclear submarine uh, break up and wash ashore with its reactor spilling its innards all over the place? I don't think so. Uh, what we're looking at here is the mass of polluted northern Pacific water has taken three years to get to the West Coast. It is just about to hit if it hasn't already. So you're going to see a lot of beaches with very interesting readings very soon.